Good morning, friends. It's Saurabh from Studio Riso today, and uh, I am going to be talking about uh, my camera mount on my helmet. Okay, friends, so um, I've got this helmet here. I've got the camera mounted already. I'm shooting from uh, a GoPro uh, 3 Plus Black Edition, and uh, there's another camera which is already mounted on it. So basically, I've got two for multiple shots and things like that. And uh, the helmet, a quick one, it is uh, my um, very reliable AGV K4. I don't know if you can see. And I, I really like this was the limited edition which came a couple of years ago. So coming back to the GoPro, if you see, I will take uh, it's it's a GoPro is mounted on my helmet with the, a J mount. And uh, what I've done is I have um, uh, I've used a curved uh, sticky mount to mount it on my helmet. And because this helmet has got a lot of curves and edges going on, so it wasn't really flushed, um, you know, um, with the with the helmet anyway. So uh, I, uh, it, it's, it's a bit of untidy thing going on there, if you can see. But I've used um, a hot hot gun, hot glue gun to to just stick it. And uh, I've, I've been in rain, I've been in wet conditions outside. You know what? It doesn't move at all. And uh, just to just to be more secure, what I've done is I've used another sticky mount for tethering. So basically, just goes in there, and I haven't done it for the review, but yeah, I always do this just to be you know secure. And this is quite secure. And, uh, it's been what eight eight nine months I've been using this uh, every other day, and. Uh, it hasn't moved a bit so it uh, I, can, I can say i can recommend it is quite secure and um if you see i have been using um okay let me put it back okay okay if you see there's a little hole i've made in the um the housing because of the casing because um, um i want to charge my camera when i'm doing time lapse or or i want to use the microphone because as you know once the camera is inside the housing the casing uh, um, um, you, you can't really, um, it, it's really muffled, you can't really listen to the, the uh, motorbike sound, you know what you're talking or what's going around you, so if, if you want to record a decent sound, you, uh, you, you will have to use an external microphone. So I drilled it, it was pretty simple, I mean it's not the, the neatest um, out there, but um, uh, I've, I've seen really, really better ones, but um, it does the job, to be honest. So uh, I use um, the GoPro um, microphone adapter, and uh, I have tried to order it from Amazon and eBay for a couple of pounds, but trust me, it doesn't work. So this is um, from GoPro. It uh, costs around 19 99 so around 20 pounds, but it's well worth it. The, the, the the construction, the build quality is really good. It's quite sturdy, so it's, even if there's a little bit of stretch or something, it's not going to go anywhere. This one, I I don't know where I got it from. It was just um, you know sticking on a few of my cables at home. I just took it out to make it more waterproof. I'll show you how. So basically, it's very simple. It goes right in the microphone adapter there. It just goes in there, and then. I have installed um, again. This is um, a mono microphone which I ordered uh, <coughs> from um, Amazon as well. I'm not sure how much light is there in it, but um, there's a microphone which is right in front of my chin. There's another microphone which I use for the Scala Rider microphone uh, intercom. Sorry, so that is another thing which I wanted to you know do a review on but um, today we'll just quickly do it all for uh, the, the um, microphone okay so here is the cable which okay if I can handle it properly it's just under my chin pad and there's the microphone there's a 3.5 jack which comes out here so your adapter GoPro adapter goes in here so it hides nicely underneath the chin pad and then 
This adapter goes right into your GoPro here. All right, people, if you have got any question, just, just drop a note and uh, I will reply as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye.